Akailos. Amen. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church here in the Big Band. Amen. If you don't have a church, come join us. Amen. It's a church alive and it's worth the drive or it's worth the walk. Amen. So praise God. And we're teaching the word. Uh, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church. We're here and we honor God. We love families. Uh, we serve others and we pursue excellence. And we also have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. So praise God. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. So praise God. We're going to continue with uh, send me, Lord, number two. Okay. So praise God. You know, we're always wanting to send somebody else. We always want to volunteer somebody else. Yeah. But we never want to volunteer ourselves. Mm -hmm. But it's time to say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Okay. Send me, Lord. I'm ready. I'm available. You know, if you read what the Word of God says, that means He's equipped you for this mission. Whatever mission, whatever He's got for you to do, He's already prepared you. We just got to get in the Word and find out what the Word says and start doing it. Start doing what the Word says. And you know, when you get the Word in you, you're going to step out in faith and not fear. You know, yeah. most of us are just laid back and kicking, sitting back because we're fearful. <laughs> We don't want to do anything, you know, so get rid of that fear. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. So send me, Lord, yeah. number number two. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm about you, and I'm ready. So let's make this declaration together. Grab the sword. Yeah. Amen. Soldier of God. And let's say this together. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. Says this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Send me, Lord. You know what? Uh, one of our, our texts today is going to be John 3.16. Amen. It says, I, I, I kind of added a little to it you know but it says this is for God so loved the world that he gave what well, I put on there was says, send me Lord he's, Jesus said that God sent sent his only begotten son amen so if Jesus could be sent so can we amen send me Lord I'm ready I'm available amen Jesus was ready he's our greatest hero war hero you know we celebrate the Memorial Day and uh, still He's our greatest hero, amen? So praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to read that in a few minutes. I have a little scripture break I want to read to you. Happy Memorial Day 2023. Remembering all those who served. All gave some, some gave all. Gone, but not forgotten. Jesus gave all. But guess what? He says, gone, but coming back. He's gone, but he's coming back, amen? In John 3, 16, one of the scriptures there says, for God so loved the world that he gave, he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in the gift shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And John 15, 13 says this, Greater love has no one than this, that to lay, uh, than to lay down uh, one's, own, one's life for his friends. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You know, you got to know these things. You got to be ready. You know, when you go to battle, you got to stay ready. You notice I'm wearing my uniform today? Praise God, I am proud to wear my uniform. Amen, I can still get in it. <laughs> Praise God, but still, you got to be ready. And when you go military, they teach you to be ready and stay ready. Yeah. Amen, as soldiers of God, we got to be ready all the time, you know, because he's going to send you places. God looks around to see who might send. Are you ready? Are you available? Amen, we're going to be talking about, send me, Lord. I'm available. I'm ready. Amen. And this is on a daily basis, not just once in a while. Anything can break out uh, constantly, you know, daily. And you are ready, Lord. Here I am, send me. And man, he's the head and we're the body. So we're the church. And he's going to send you. He's going to send me. I'm ready, Lord. Send me. I'm ready. Man, I'm volunteering. I'm ready to go. You can do the same thing. Praise God. Turn your mind. Uh, come. Keep going. So today, happy Memorial Day weekend blessing. Greater love hath no man than this. Yes. That a man lay down his own life for his friend. John 15, 13. God bless you. Have a great 
great weekend, amen? Praise God, or a great uh, Memorial Day. Keep going. You got a few of these Memorial Day blessings. Lord, may we never forget those who, who gave their lives for our freedom. Amen. God bless America. You know, some of you said before, you know, well, I didn't have nobody served, so I, you know, I got nothing to celebrate about. You need to celebrate because you are affected by this because these people that gave their lives, gave their lives for you to have freedom and to live in, a, in the best country in the world. Amen. So freedom belongs to you because of them giving their lives. Amen. So it affects you also. It says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Psalms 33 and 12. So thank God. We just sang a few patriotic songs. You know, God bless America. Thank you, Lord. America is beautiful because of God. Amen. Praise God. And we're going to continue to do that. Praise God. And, and you know what? If my people pray, he says, so you pray. You know, you see things happening. You see all these things going on. You hear the bad news and all the negative news and all that stuff. But he says, if my people pray. Amen. If my people pray. You know what? As a matter of fact, let's go there right now. Amen. Second Chronicles 7.14. So you know where to, where to go. Amen. So you say, well, you know, I didn't know that. Same Chronicles 7, 14 says what? It says, if my people, who are you his people? We are his people. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Yeah. So, you know, don't just talk about it. Don't talk the problem. You know, we magnify the problems more than we magnify our God. Uh -huh. Amen. This is what he wants you to do. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. And you can pray. Quit gossiping, quit complaining, quit passing the negative news. Pass the good news. Amen. The good news says, And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal, heal their land. So you got something to do. This is part of you. This is you. This is the body of Christ. Okay? So it doesn't matter. You're an individual, but you know what? We have a great God. So you can do that yourself and help by doing that. Ooh, hallelujah, I'm blessed already. Keep on coming. We got a few of these, that's all, you know, but this is uh, from Ronald Reagan. It says, uh, we are forever indebted to those who have given their lives that we might be free. We live in a free country. Amen. People running, people running to get here. Amen. Because we have a free country. You try to go somewhere else. If you don't like this, go somewhere else. You can find it for yourself. Amen. So thank God that we live in a free country. Keep going. One more. It says, let's remember Memorial Day. We remember all those who gave their lives for freedom. Let us also remember Christ. Let us remember Jesus Christ who died so all might be free. You know the salvation is free, but you have to receive it. It's a free gift. But, you know, he's, he's giving it to you. But are you receiving it? Are you taking it? Are you confessing it? you got to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead. And salvation is yours if you want it. You know, <laughs> when he sees me, when I go see him, you know, I'm gl I, I'll be glad for him to say, come on, good and faithful servant. Instead of saying, you know, depart from me. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Who's, that's your choice. You can either go up or you can go down, but I'd rather him say, welcome, good and faithful servant, instead of saying, depart from me. I never knew you. So don't be ashamed of him now, because he'll be ashamed of you. And of course, uh, uh, one of our texts is that, um, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave, he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Remember, Jesus Christ, the greatest war hero, our greatest hero we ever had. He came, he was sent, and he came, Amen. and he fulfilled his mission. Yes. And you know what? He put you here to fulfill your mission. Yes. And he's equipped you with everything you need to fulfill your mission. Amen. So, Lord, I am ready. You sent me. I'm ready. And I am stepping out in faith. Amen. Woo, hallelujah, man. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Let's say amen and let's go home. Keep going. Here's where we are right now. This is one of our texts. And we're going to review a little bit and then we're going to get started where we left off. But it says in Isaiah 6 and 8, it says, And I heard a voice from the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? 
-huh. And who will go for us? Mm -hmm. Us, you know, in the Amplified, us is, is capitalized. Amen. So, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Then I said, here I am. Send me, Lord. Huh? Yeah. You know, it's time we step up. You know, no. Jesus, our greatest heroes that went to the cross, you know, also want you to know that that cross is not a sign of defeat. That sign is a, is a sign of victory. Amen. Victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they buried, they, 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 they took him down, they laid him in, and they buried him. But guess what? He rose. And then he went, and he, and he was around for a few, a few days. And then he told his disciples to go ye into all the world and preach yeah. the gospel. Lay hands on the sick, man. He, he commissioned us to go. So yeah. we need to do this. And then we are his body. He's the head. We're the body. Yes. We're the church. So yes. if you don't know this, it's time that you do. Yeah. So you can go out and do for God. You know, yeah. he didn't put you here to lose, be a, a, a loser. He put you here to be a winner. Amen. Amen. It's time you, you turn that around and be a winner for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Victory in him on a daily basis. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Man, we just eating this one up. Amen. Uh, <laughs> God who owned us, uh, owned us nothing gave us everything. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world. He yes. gave, he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not die but have everlasting yes. life. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus. Thank yes. you for giving Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for all you gave. Yes. Amen. And are still giving. He says he's seated in heaven mm -hmm. at the right hand of God, a place of authority. Amen. Amen. Interceding for us. He's still praying for us. Amen. So we cannot, without, we cannot lose unless we choose to just give up. That's it. So we don't want to give up. That's Amen. It. He's praying for us to succeed. He's praying for us to continue to press on and win. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you. Keep going. We got some good ones here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Here it is. Jesus was available. Jesus was and is available. Mm -hmm. uh, are you? Yeah, that's a good question. Are you available? Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you making yourself available? Mm -hmm. You know, most of us are still in fear. Yeah. If you're in fear and trying to hide, that means you're not walking in faith. Mm. Because if you have the greater one in you, if you have the word in you and you're getting the word in you and you're growing and maturing in the things of God, you know, yes. you're not going to be in fear. That's it. You're going to be in faith. Say, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't let these things hold you down. It's time to get up. You fail, but you know what? It's time to get up. Get up yeah. and say, hey, Lord, I'm ready. Send yes. me. I'm available. I'm ready. And press on. That's Amen. what he wants you to do. He says, dust yourself and press on. Amen. And be available for him. Yes. Hallelujah. Keep going. Are you ready? Are you available? Woohoo. Here we go. All my little fish are following Jesus. And follow Jesus. And Mark 1, 17 and 18 says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and they followed him. Just a quick review. You know, these are professional fishermen that were fishing and went out all night and came back without nothing. But Jesus came and asked them, you know, says, hey, I need to borrow your, little, your boat. Just go out a little ways so I can minister to these people, you know, yes. and he preached to those people. Amen. And when he, when he was done, he wanted to repay them and says, you know what? He says, go out and, and drop your nets. Amen. And, and, uh, and you'll be blessed. And they did. Well, first, they say, we're professional. You can't tell us how to fish. We know all about fishing. We've been out all night, and we didn't catch anything. But, you know, the good thing is, they obeyed what he said. And that's the good thing we need to do. We need to be obedient. Amen. When you read the word, don't question. Just be obedient. And they went out and did. And you know what? They almost, them boats almost sank because of all the fish they caught. After that, they joined him. And they left their place. They left their profession and they started following him. So he wants us to follow him. I don't care what you've been doing, what you've done. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you know, the old is out, the new is in. And you start pressing on with him and going with him yeah. and doing great and mighty things for Jesus. He says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So let's start 
changing things, getting the new in you, and start pressing on with the things of God. Amen. And press on and press on. You know, because the greater one in you is great. He's greater than the one that's in the world. Amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Yeah, Jesus says, <laughs> I want to send you, Jose. I want to send you. You can put your name in there. We talked about that. Just fill in that. Jesus says, I want to send you. I call to you. And where it says you, just put your name there. Okay? Personalize it. Underline it. Highlight it. Be available. Be ready. Be passionate. When it comes to loving. When it comes to serving. When it comes to living. Amen? So watch your words and watch your actions. Amen? The, Lord, the roaring lion goes around seeking who he may devour. How is he going to know who to devour? By your words and your actions. So you got to be careful what you do and what you say. Amen? Put a guard on your mouth and only speak faith-filled words. Where the more words you get in you, the more word you're going to confess instead of all the negative stuff. Because death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the words you're speaking. So why not speak faith-filled words? Because you're going to eat whatever fruit comes out. If it's bad or good, you're going to eat that fruit. You're going to have that fruit for you. So I don't want the bad fruit. I want the good fruit. Amen. Woo! People, including believers, are passionate about everything except for God. You know? <laughs> Come on now. I can camp out right here and talk right. about this, you know, because <laughs> where's everybody? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's everybody? Things, right, you know, things happen. Uh, it just so happens. <laughs> so many things happen on Sundays, you know. And Pastor, I can't be there because. Well, you know what? <laughs> I was not 100% yesterday. And I almost didn't come today. So praise God, you know. Pray. And put God first, you know. And by His stripes, I am healed from head to toe. And I got to speak to my body. Mm -hmm. And say, body, submit yourself. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. We're going to church tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. The enemy, the enemy does not want you to be here. The enemy yeah. wants to stop you. The enemy yeah. wants to put distractions. Yes, the enemy does. wants to do all kinds of things to stop you. But don't allow yourself to be stopped. Amen. Speak the word. Speak the right things. Say the right things. Don't let that junk come out anymore. That's it. Amen. That's it. We're hung by the tongue. All right. <laughs> We're hung by the tongue. So quit hanging yourself. Well, Amen. Say you don't well I had to say it. No, you didn't have to say it. You think Jesus probably had a good good time had a good uh uh opportunity mm -hmm. to cuss all the people out that hung him, you know? <laughs> or that crucified him. But he didn't. He controlled himself. <laughs> yes. Amen. He's a child of God. He's the son of God, you know? Yeah. And he healed himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he was the perfect man. Yes. That's what the Bible says. You know? So we, we can do the best. We may not be we're not perfect, but still, if you if you, if you let it out, confess it and get it out. Amen. Say, Lord, I said it, I confess it, I repent and press on. Yeah. Amen. So whoo, hallelujah. Whoo. So I'm ready, Lord. I've sent me, called me. He anointed me. He equipped me. Yeah. So I'm available. I'm ready. I'm passionate on a daily basis. You can write that down somewhere and put it up there. Send me, Lord. Yes. Send me, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're always disqualifying ourselves. Mm -hmm. And he says he's already qualified to. Yes. God's not looking for ability mm -hmm. or qualified. He's already qualified to. Yes. Amen. So don't be looking for men's approval. Because mm -hmm. men is never going to give their approval for mm -hmm. you. Because they're always against you. Because they're jealous. Because yeah. they don't want you to succeed. Right. They want to see you down and out. Yeah. Amen. But you got to stir yourself up on a daily basis. Woo, man. I'm Amen. preaching better than you're in the middle of me right. now. Yeah. Send me, Lord. I'm available. I'm ready. Me. Write that and put it somewhere. Have a big plaque, you know, wherever you go. Lord, send me, Lord. I'm available. I'm ready. And I'm passionate. And I'm ready to serve you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know all them ugly people out there? Yeah. All them rude people out there? Oh, gosh. The same Jesus died for you and died for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They just don't know. They don't know That's Jesus it. like you That's know it. Jesus. Yeah. But you know what? You've got to get yourself in Him 
and get yourself stirred up and yeah. get yourself fired up. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I've told you this before. You know, I know us guys, when we was young, you know, we used to take a, a Coke bottle or a, co a Coke can and just stir it up. Mm. And you know what we used to do? We used to just open it up on, on somebody. But you stir that can up. You know what's going to happen when you pull that mm -hmm. or take the top off? Yeah. It's just going to flow out. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Get ourselves stirred up in him, you know. So when we go out there, we're ready to blow up on somebody on in the right way. In the right way. Amen. Let them know Jesus loves you. When you're walking out in his love and his compassion, and you're seeing people with his love and compassion, instead of being rude and nasty and, and ugly, you know. You know, instead of seeing the negative, instead of seeing the, the bad, you see the good amen you're the closest thing you know how many times i've told you this you're the closest thing to a bible you're the closest thing to jesus they'll ever see they'll ever hear or they'll ever be around so why not share the good news with them share the good news with them amen hallelujah but give give them a good word be kind be polite amen because the same down and up the same root people other people are the same ones he died for He's just trying to reach them. And he's going to reach them through us. Amen. He, he can't use nobody else. We're the body. We're the, we're the church. We got to go out there and reach them. And put some seeds of nice, of kindness, you know, of love, compassion. All these good seeds, you know. Yes. Oh, come on now. All right. Passion is, but listen, passion, well, says, send me, Lord. I'm excited. I'm available, I'm ready, I'm passionate. I'm excited, motivated, stirred up. Excited, Jesus, to do what you've called me to do. Amen? Listen to this. Passionate believers, passionate believers, walk it, talk it, show it. Amen? Passionately. So we walk it, talk it, and show it. We step out in faith, we step out in faith, we walk the walk, and we talk the talk. You know, if you walk the walk, don't go to the wrong crowd and start talking the way they talk. You walk the walk and you talk the way the Word of God tells you to talk. Amen? So remember, faithful words, not negative, but positive. Amen? Woo. Watch your words, watch your actions, speak faithful words. Mm -hmm. uh, Proverbs uh, 18, keep going. Proverbs 18, uh, 21. Well, yeah, Jesus paid it all. Isaiah 53 and 5. Keep going. Proverbs 18, uh, 21 says what? Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. And they that love it shall eat the fruit they love. Yes. So you're going to eat the fruit, not somebody else. That's you right. you might have thrown it that way, but uh -huh. it's going to come back at you. That's it. Amen. And you're going to eat the fruit. Life and death are in the power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Man, we can't say that enough. Words carry positive or negative mm -hmm. things words are seed that we plant yes so what kind of seed are you planting you know what everything you plant is going to grow so quit planting negative seed because it's going to grow in your garden not somebody else's <laughs> amen well i want good seed in, in my garden amen mm -hmm. passionate believers get passionate for him and it's a cho our choice get passionate for god Serve him and his people passionately. Keep on coming. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we're going there. Here we go. God has a plan for you. So stay tuned with him. Have a relationship. And you'll end up at the right place every time. Yeah. He's got a plan for you. You know, like I said, don't exclude yourself, include yourself. Don't be a, a spectator, be a participator. Participate in this because God has a plan for us. And the scripture says, 20, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Amen. So he's got plans. Yes. says, I for I know the plans I have for you. Mm -hmm. That you right there, you can put your name right there. I got a plan for you, Jose. Amen. 
He's got a plan for, for you. Whatever your name happens to be, mm -hmm. scratch it you and just put above, just write your yeah. name on there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Personalize your Bible. You know, somebody, if you leave it somewhere someday, somebody going to find it. And then we say, uh -huh. who is Jose? You know, <laughs> this guy, he's got his name all over the Bible. <laughs> and you can put your name all over the Bible mm -hmm. in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on now. <laughs> Stay passionate in fulfilling God's plan for your life. Amen. Stay focused and enjoy where you are or where you're going. Yes. Amen. Where you're going. And listen to this. Bloom where he plants you. Mm. Wherever you happen to be, instead of complaining, give him praise. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to do everything I can where you have planted me. And yes. If you receive it that way, it's going to be a whole lot easier for yeah. you. Because your flesh is going to try to fight it. <laughs> Everywhere I was stationed, uh, you know, I finally realized, I'm just going to thank you, Lord, for where you sent me. They sent me, but I know, Lord, I serve you first. Yes, yes. And I'm going to do for you first. Yes. Amen. So, praise God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going. I have a plan for you. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs 16 and 3. King James, the Amplified says this. Commit your works to the Lord. Submit and trust them to Him. And your plans will succeed. Amen. Amen. Your plans are going to succeed. Why? Because I'm trusting Him. Yes. Amen. And I'm committing myself to Him. Yes. Commit yes. my works to Him. Mm -hmm. So on a daily basis, Lord, before I go anywhere, Seek him first yes. and commit yourself to him. Amen. And he's going to see to it. Submit and trust to him. Yes. And your plans will succeed. And yes. talk about your plans succeeding instead of defeat. Yes. Because like, like I said, a lot of times we speak the problem mm -hmm. and we speak the negative before we speak the positive. Oh, yeah. Amen. So, man, I'm going to succeed if you yes. respond to his will and his guidance. Amen. Ooh. Keep going. There we go. Again, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and all your plans will succeed. Yeah. Proverbs 16, 13. I mean, mark 16. these, you know, highlight these 16, so you can go back and check. Yes. Amen. Proverbs 16, 13. But, but this is 16, 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. <laughs> Amen. Lord, I'm committing this to you. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And it's going to succeed. Mm -hmm. It's not going to fail. It's going to succeed. Keep going. I've got some other ones for you here. It says, commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do it. Yeah. Psalms uh, 37, 5. I got to commit. Some of us need to do, make some commitments. You know? <laughs> we got to commit ourselves to Him yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, Jesus committed Himself to the Father and He came yeah. and succeeded what the Father sent Him to do. Yes, yes. Amen. So... <laughs> Just know that you can do all things through Him. Oh, and I'm going to commit myself to serve Him on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Lord, I know the plans. He says, Lord says, I know the plans I have for you, Jose. God says, go to the one that knows you. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you go to the one that knows you, your plans are going to succeed. Because I'm trusting Him. I know who's backing me. He's with me. Believe me, little David knew when he had to go against the giants. Yep. Amen. Yep. All these Bible heroes knew who their God was and they trusted Him. We can do the same thing. He did it for them, mm -hmm. He'll do it for us. So, go to the one that knows you. <laughs> Don't go to the one that will mislead you, misguide you, or might be a vision or a dream buster. No, yeah. Because a lot of people want to do this. Oh, man, you can do this some other time. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Mm -mm. Talk you out of it. Yeah. Don't let nobody talk you out of your plans. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, I'm going to have, the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad. Yes, in yes. I'm going to have peace about this. And don't yeah. let nobody come and drop their storms in you. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody come and take you out of your peace. Yes, yes. Amen. Keep your peace. And you know what? What you do is you pass it on to them. Yeah. Because you know what? Hey, you don't have to be like this. You don't have to go through this. God is great. God is God of peace. He is the Prince of Peace. And yeah. you can have peace about this instead of having all these storms, all these anxieties, all these cares. You know what I do? I cast it on Him on a daily basis. Yeah. So I don't have to do this. And you don't have to yeah. go through this. And you get, just gave Him a great word. Amen. Instead of you being moved out of your peace 
-hmm. You brought their peace to them. You gave them your peace. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't share. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The one that knows you and knows your plans, that is called a relationship. That's what Christianity is all about. Mm -hmm. It's having a relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. He knows you, all about you, but you need to know him. Yes. How do I do this? Open yeah. your Bible. Open yeah. the Word and read it. And spend time with him. Talk with him. Pray. You know. Yeah. And uh, you get to know him. He wants to bless you. Amen. He wants to bless you. All. Not 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 bad, but good. It's yeah. good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mark uh, 12 and 30 says this. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, and all your dreams. The mm -hmm. Lord will not accept half-hearted lukewarm believers or service oh. amen nah no 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 that's not a good thing amen so yeah that's what mark uh 12 and 30 says in the king james says and thou shalt know thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength this is the first commandment amen this is what you do you learn these things and you know, you take one day at a time, one step at a time, you learn in one word at a time. You don't have to know it all, you know. Sometimes you overwhelm yourself by saying, man, I can't learn all this. Well, you don't say those things. Just take one word at a time, one scripture at a time, and start reading it, and start reading it, and getting it in you, you know. The next thing you know is, it's just gonna flow out of you. So out of your innermost being, it's gonna flow rivers of living water. When the time is right, it's going to flow. So let it out. Amen. And Revelation, it's coming. Revelation uh, 3.16. There we go, man. I like this. Check it out. Revelation. You ever seen one like that? <laughs> it says, Luke, uh, cold, lukewarm, or hot. <laughs> so then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Revelation 3.16. So he tells us what to do. He says, you know, he'll accept us if we just want to be cold. And he'll accept us if we're hot. But he says, don't play this middle stuff, you know, this lukewarm stuff, you know. Well, you know, you want to please man, you want to please the world, you want to please God. And you just want to be straddled the fence, you know, right in the middle. No. Just, I'd rather you be just cold, cold, or hot, hot. But you know, church, we can do is stay hot for God. Keep yourself hungry for the things of God. Keep yourself stirred up for the things of God. Amen? Praise God. Uh, I wrote it like this. But since you are lukewarm, water, neither hot nor cold, I will spew you, I will spit you out of my mouth. <laughs> That's bad, you know? <laughs> When you spit something out, it means you don't like it. That was not good, man. <laughs> I hate to drink some milk, you know, if it's sour, you know, I just, whoop, whoop. It's out. It's gone. Nope. All right, we ain't going there. <laughs> I'm out of this. Amen. But check it out. You can have a gauge just like that. Mm -hmm. Stay hot for God or stay yeah. full for God and not empty and cold or right at the middle, you know. Ooh, yeah. Just remember that game. You know? <laughs> Keep going. All right. Well, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Being a jealous God simply means he wants us totally and completely committed. Committed. God can count on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'd rather you be hot for me and I know that you're available to me. And I'm ready to send you because you're available, because you're ready. Amen. He wants us totally, totally surrendered, being available. He wants us to be he wants to be first in our lives. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Matthew 6 uh, 33 again talks about uh, seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. He desires to be at the top of our priority list. When I was military, we had priority lists mm. on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. Amen. And we got to be battle ready on a daily basis. Mm. But you know what? After I accepted Christ, he was my number one. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the rest came after that. 
So, but still, he wants to be number one. He wants us to be hungry and thirsty for more of him. He wants us to be compassionate, passionate, and have an appetite for him. Mm -hmm. Stay hungry for God. Be available. This is the kind of behavior that it takes mm -hmm. if you're going to be someone for God. Amen. Yeah. Listen, big or small, the world is moved by big and small. Mm -hmm. We move by our God. Whether it be small, big or small, it doesn't matter. The stuff I think about it is being faithful. Being available and being available. Be faithful, be available, and do what he wants you to do. Lord, I'm doing this unto you, and I'm giving it my all. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how big it is. If God tells you to do it, be faithful and be obedient. Amen? Woo. Commit, submit, be available, serve, and obey. Amen? So commit, submit, be available, serve, and obey. Woo. Man, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> says available and passionate people are people who are consumed Amen. with fulfilling what God has called them to do. Uh -huh. Amen. The Bible Amen. says you can do all things through Christ. Things. So don't exclude yourself. Don't disqualify yourself. Don't disqualify something that he's already qualified you to do. Right. right. Amen. And we're not talking about the world. The world will disqualify you about anything. Uh -huh. You are not ready for the world. Because That's the world it. is going to be negative and they're going to come against you. Period. Uh -huh. Amen. But know that you, that he's already qualified you. Yes. He's already want, uh, make, uh, equipped you and put everything in you that'll make you successful in what he wants you to do. Right, right. Amen. So whoo, man. Can't beat that. That's it. Praise God. Be available, be passionate is a moving force that calls all the Bible heroes to fulfill their dreams. Mm -hmm. And you know, God was with them. Yes. But guess what? He's with us also. Yes, he what is. he did for them, he'll do for us. Yes. So know this. And don't let anything, mm -hmm. enemy, or anybody talk you out of this. Amen? And doing what God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, available and passionate uh, uh, believers empower them to overcome fear, doubt, and discouragement. Yeah. People are going to discourage you. Even, even sometimes close friends, mm -hmm. people close to you, they're going to discourage you. You know? Well, I'm not going there. I'm not going to say what I wanted to say. <laughs> But people close to me will not accept me being a pastor for God. Well, you're not good enough. You know, and jealous people will disqualify you and say you're not good enough. It doesn't matter. The world is always going to be negative and come against you. But no that God has called and equipped you and he's called you to be an original and not a copy. Mm -hmm. So you'll be yourself and you do your best for him. He yeah. gave his best, you give your best. Mm -hmm. And if he's pleased, don't worry about, about people. Be pleased, please God and not people. Yeah. Be a God pleaser, not people pleaser. Amen. Amen. Woo, man. Amen. <laughs> Woo, praise God. Be ready, be available and passionate is what caused the disciples in the early church to turn their worlds upside down. We can do the same thing. Yes. We can do the same thing. We can turn your, you can turn your world upside down. You know, Marfa, Presidio, uh, uh, Alpine, Fort Davis, all these areas, you know, we can just go out and do what God wants us to do. We can yeah. turn this world upside down. And we can and we will and we'll continue to pray for this area. Yes. And overtake we'll this area, yes. amen. All We're right. by a spiritual battle. Amen. Amen. It's a spiritual battle. It's a, mm -hmm. a, 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 and we can overcome this and we can defeat this in the word. Amen. And speaking the word. Speaking the word and not the negative thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, where this comes up. So turn the world uh, right side up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Through him, we can do all these things. Praise yes. God. It says, ready, available, and passionate is what caused those disciples and those heroes of God to turn their world upside down. Yes. But we're still fulfilling God's plan. Yes. We're still fulfilling God's call in our lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Acts 1 and 8 says, uh, But when the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you will receive power. 
and will tell people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Jeru uh, Judea, yeah. in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Yeah, I'll find Fort Davis, Big Ben, Presidio, Marfa, mm -hmm. anywhere where God yes. sends you. Amen. We can do it all. Amen. And we can, you know, you don't have to be there. You can reach these places mm -hmm. by praying. You can yes. pray over these places, okay? You can pray over this place. Or when you travel through there, you know, just speak the word over it, you know? Speak the word. Remember, it's a spiritual battle. And you speak the word of God over it. Amen? After fulfilling, after, after filled with the Holy Spirit, they were available and they got passionate and bold for God. We do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen? The greater one lives in me. And greater is he that still lives in me than he that is still in the yes. world. Amen. Greater is he that is in me mm -hmm. than he that is in the world. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As yeah. one eight says, but ye shall receive power mm -hmm. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Mm -hmm. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts yes. of the oh, earth. Sure. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> With God, we can do all things. Without Him, we, we can't do it. That's it. If you try to find it in the flesh, you're defeated. Mm -hmm. But if you try, if you do it in the Word, if you yes. do it with Him, Amen. you'll succeed. Amen? Yes, yes. We'll succeed. So He didn't make us to fail. He made us to succeed. Yes. So be ready. Be available. Be passionate. When you pat, when you avail, when you're ready, when you're available, when you're passionate, it will not allow you to be silent. You have to speak. You have to say something. <laughs> would not allow them to cover up mm -hmm. and cower down and hide, because a lot of times they 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 wanted to just cower down and hide. Amen. Mm -hmm. Cause them to, to be bolder. Inspire them to say, "We obey God rather than men." Would not allow them to to seek a comfort zone. Okay, would not allow them to seek a comfort zone and got them through the hard times, kept them going when others uh, fell by the wayside. Passionate people live committed lives, amen. They practice their faith with joy and enthusiasm. God is calling you today to become available and passionate follower for Christ, amen. So let's remember this, okay. So, and in closing, in closing. Amen. Remember this, yes, I decide not to be average, not to be lukewarm. How about you? You're not, an you're not a copy, you're, you're an original. We also found out that we're a masterpiece of God. Ephesians 2 and 10 says that you are a masterpiece. You are somebody. Know this, you're no junk. The people might call you no good. People might call you junk. Mm -hmm. People might call you all kinds of things, uh -huh. but still know that you're an original, made by God. No, there's no one like no else like no one else like you. You also says in Ephesians two and ten that you're a masterpiece mm -hmm. created by God. Amen. Yes. So He don't create junk. When you get this truth about you, you don't accept and receive the negative things the world has. Amen. So I'm sent, I'm called, I'm anointed, I'm ready, and I'm passionate. I'm a winner, I'm a champion, I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Remember, remember that you're a child of God mm -hmm. and that you can do all things through Christ. Oh. Say this with me. I choose to keep myself available. I choose, I choose to keep myself available. Ready, passionate, and stirred up. Ready, ready passionate, and stirred up. For God. For God. Amen. 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 Yes, God. <laughs> Thank you that you receive. Amen. <laughs> I receive. Thank you, Lord. God, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. In closing, we just yes. want to let you know Happy Memorial Day 2023. Amen. Also, yeah. some of you, this is your opportunity. Mm -hmm. you, it's time for you to just say, Lord, mm -hmm. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you have to speak it out and you have to confess it with your mouth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And He's ready, ready, ready for you. Or you you be ready for Him. And you be ready to let go of the old and the new is coming in. Because that's what the Word of God says. The old is gone, the new is in. And start living Him. Get the Word in you and start living by the Word. Amen. Get into a Bible-based church where they teach the Word of God. Yes. Amen. 
and get yourself there, assemble yourselves together with new believers, you know, mm -hmm. believers that are going to encourage you and help you and befriend you. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Can you sickness in your body? I was speaking this over myself yesterday. You say, body, line up with the word of God. Receive your healing now. I'm speaking it to it. And body, receive your healing now in Jesus' name. The Bible says that by Jesus stripes, we're healed. Yes. Amen. <laughs> by Jesus stripes, we're healed. So I speak healing over my body. Yes. So whatever is coming against you, we just command it to leave in Jesus' name. Yes. This, this, this body belongs to him. Yes. And so by his stripes, you're healed. Now I'm calling you well and I'm calling you healed. So praise God. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. And it's time to give. Amen. <laughs> And give it to go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Just hit that donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And if you're doing cash app, just send it at uh, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God bless you. God loves you. And we love you. Amen. And happy, 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 happy Memorial Day to you. And thank you for all those of you uh, that, that joined us today.